All right, time for intermission. While I'm waiting for that thing to dry, I might as well do something else. And things will be burning. Now, you might remember my little Afro Ken fr friend here, permanently encased in epoxy. Although the cloudiness is not without its charm, clarity is kind of a virtue in this case. So I'm gonna try and uh, coat this piece of concrete, unprocessed slab of concrete, with some epoxy and we're gonna try and clear up the bubbles using this propane torch. Fingers crossed that this isn't gonna set my house on fire, but I've read that by heating the surface, it pulls the bubbles out and makes a nice clear surface. Now, the reason I wanna know whether that works or not is because the idea is to make this piece of rock into a coffee table and because these stones that I embedded in here are not flat, when you grind them down, they end up with this l this little ridge or lip around. Oh, I should probably show you what I'm pointing at, right? When you grind them down, you end up with a little ridge or a lip right around the edge. And that's not very pleasant. So I'm hoping that I can cover this with an epoxy, a clear epoxy which will do two things. It will bring out the contrast between the black rocks and the gray con concrete. And um, it'll smooth over those ridges. Now, I don't think I'm gonna need very much of this stuff to just determine if this is going to work or not. So this is the one to one mixture ratio and I can see that I'm, I'm over the one mark a bit. So let's go over the second one mark a bit. And we mix. Now this stuff is gonna get cloudy very quickly. And it's gonna stay that way. What are you in focus? Hell no, fuck. So there we go, nice cloudy mixture. And I was thinking while we were at it, we might as well kind of test the efficacy of this stuff. Supercoat, architectural grade form release agent. Superhero of the concrete world. I don't know, I got this off eBay, it was, it was dead cheap. Uh, but it's some sort of oily thingy that uh, you can coat your tools with or whatever, plywood and uh, concrete, no stick to it, so. I'm going to try and coat this up and then we'll fill these with uh, epoxy and see if it, uh, you know, does the releasing. Well, maybe I should get that off the concrete actually because I do want it to stick to that, eh? That's using your head, eh? Always thinking. All right, don't want any dry spots. Okay, we'll let that soak in. In the meantime, let's have a look at our situation here. All right, I don't see any reason why we can't just go ahead and give this a little coat. And I don't really actually want a lot on it. I just want it to fill all the little pores. Actually, you know, this, I think at this kind of uh, layer, with this kind of layer, it's so, it's so fine. We're not actually gonna get any bubble. No, I spoke too soon. I can see there are bubbles there. Oh, you know what we'll do? We'll burn half of it. We'll torch half and we'll leave the other half uh, untouched. Because science. All right, that seems pretty decent. Seems like a nice level coating. And we'll take our, all right, well, let's see here. Let's take our form here and we'll just fill these up. 
This is pretty interesting actually. I, I'm kind of curious if this will work. We can give the furniture wax the whole heave ho there. Find our new best friend. Just as cheap. Oh, and you know, I even have a few other holes here that I will use as a control. Again, science to the rescue! Okay, done. Now, let's get the torch out. I'll put this aside. Furnace comes on just in time. Well, we're doing it anyway. Oh, come on. Come on, you're not done yet. Okay, there we go. All right. Right half will be torched, left half will not be. Actually, I can see a bare spot. Let me fix that. Not bare, but just not quite filled. There must be a bit of a divot there. All right. Well, see, so you now I've fucked up my experiment, but I think it's early enough in the procedure that we won't worry too much about it. All right, back at it. And if we're lucky, I'll set my paper on fire. Oh, I can, you know, I can see already this is definitely clearing up as compared to the left side. My left, anyway. Oh yeah, it'll be your left too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That works like a charm, man. Go figure. Looks like after it's dry, and whether that's something I want for a coffee table or not. Cool. All right, I'm gonna call it quits there. That'll give me a really good idea of what's gonna happen with that. So here's a close-up of that uh, surface. You tell me if you can see when we go cloudy or not. Now all there's left to do is wait and uh, see how it all pans out. Should be interesting. Stay tuned.